Okay guys, welcome back to yet another recording. Uh, today we're going to be doing a blue light response uh, to another line call to the Polito Bay custody cells. We are playing the part today of a ambulance technician, this time uh, in a box ambulance. So we're going to jump in our vehicle and get ready to go to this another line call. So we're switching on our blue lights and our rear reds for this response. And uh, obviously off we go with the sirens. So, as we start to pull out the uh, hospital, looking for a safe area to pull out. Traffic has stopped for us, lovely. So the traffic lights are against us. Red ATS here, looking for a reaction. Lovely, we have it. Back onto the progress now. Gonna stick to our left lane. The minute we are in a box ambulance, our speeds are much different to the earlier video that we did in the response vehicle. We've got a reaction here, the car has moved over quite nicely for us. Looking for anything coming from the left from the junction. Change the siren to to come through the red ATS. And we'll change again as we come through the next red ATS, just to make the traffic aware of our presence. Back to long tones as we come on to the next one, a little bit of air horn. Aware of anything coming from left and right as we come through these red ATSs. Then we've got another red ATS here, posing traffic from our left and right. Change the siren tones as it goes to green. Back to our long siren tone. And again, changing, looking left and right, opposing traffic through the next red ATS and back onto the progress. Aware of the car ahead of me, seeing what he's going to do. Aware that I have the right hand side if need to be. Least line of resistance. He has, however, moved over, allowing me to come through. So we had a good reaction from them drivers. Not always the case with a 909 vehicle. So we are about to go right here, so I'm going to start moving towards my right lane, change siren tones. Watching what this car is going to do, giving me space to go round past him. So now, as we come past the race course, looking for any uh, pedestrians that might be stepping out. Coming up towards the motorway, so just slightly increasing the speed at this time. Aware of what that car there is doing, as he suddenly steered toward us. Not creating much of an issue for us, however. We're on a green ATS here, so straight through to my right. Aware of joining traffic here on the motorway as we come down, out and through the traffic that stop into our far lane, and back onto the progress, getting up to motorway speeds, going to continue up the motorway, trying to keep our long tones as much as we can here, aware of anything the traffic might do that we're not expecting, we're going to try and get over to our left a little bit more here, try and get our lights and that into his mirrors, there we go, he has moved over, change siren tone required, obviously couldn't hear us over his stereo, so as we move up again, we're into the wing mirrors of this car ahead, so far no reaction yet, so we're just waiting for this reaction, there we go, and back onto the progress. So we've got those nice long tones reaching out ahead of us. Best siren tone for high speed. So keeping that siren tone ahead of us. You can change if required just to uh, make sure that drivers are aware of our presence. Obviously we also have the air horn. We've got a nice reaction early from that driver which is good. And for the next one that allows us to keep on the progress. Gonna give it a bit of early air horn just to break up my uh, sirens here as we head up towards Polito. Okay, moving over, signaling my intent nice and early. Obviously, I don't want to go into the, the gutter here though, um, over that yellow line, because there may be debris being swept off the motorway, etc. I want to avoid any of that that might cause me to have a burst tyre or have an accident myself. I want to get there safely to my patient. So. Looking ahead, down the road, still no reaction from these drivers. Going to give it another little bit of air horn, just to see if we can get reaction. 
as we're approaching. Getting up a bit nearer now, still no reaction at this time. So I'm planning my, my route ahead. So I'm going to give us a nice change of siren tone. There we go, we get a reaction. We now have a reaction from this driver, not the one we wanted. We have a, no reaction still from the trailer. Yes, we do. Not the one we wanted, but we'll go around, we'll deal with it. After all, we're the emergency service professional. So again, I'm looking at the road ahead. Least line of resistance right now would be the right lane. However, I am looking for obviously the traffic, being that I'm in the overtaking lane, to move to their right. So we're going to try and keep out to the left here, see if we can get reaction from the driver. There we go. Keeping on the progress, steady 70 miles an hour now. Not about the speed, they're all about progress at the end of the day, trying to make other drivers aware of our presence and just to get them out of our way so that we're not impeded, allowing us to progress through. Many people think blue lights and sirens are all about speed, obviously they would be wrong. So we're watching this driver on the right as we get close to him, he's wheezing slightly, there we go, we've got a reaction from that driver. Although he wasn't stopping me, I was just aware of his weaving in the lane. Do we follow the road round here? Taking a straighter line, however, within our lane still, as we can. We don't want to go out of our lane, but we want to try and keep that progress up, that speed, rather than constantly braking and accelerating. We just want a nice constant speed. So as we come down now, 78, 79 miles per hour behind this car. So we are slowly catching this vehicle ahead, coming up towards our uh, destination at Fleet Bay, down the motorway. So I'm looking still for a reaction from this driver. At the moment, he's just oblivious just behind him and still carrying on. So we're going to give it a little bit of air horn. Like I said, I want to try and keep the long tone if I can, but I'll change silent tones if necessary. Just want to get this driver to move over. Obviously the lane mark is now showing us that the lanes are merging into one lane, so we're going to follow the lane markings here. Keeping out towards our yellow hatched area though, because we can obviously use that for overtaking if required. So the lights are just going to red for us there, we've gone through on amber. Going to move out early, signal our intent here. Change the siren zone to come into the more urban area through the red light. Another change of siren tones here, as we're looking and checking our junctions to our right. The lights just changed to red here, so we're aware of traffic from our left. And turning left into the police station. We can cancel our sirens here at this point, because we've just arrived. And we'll just park up. Turn off our blue lights, and there we go. We are now at the uh, Polito Bay Police Station. Slight bug with the indicators there. So we can now jump out, grab our kit, and go and see our patient. Report to the custody desk. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe.